That's good morning in Somali. Assalamu alaikum. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. First and foremost, welcome back to my channel. I know it's a Ramadan season. I'm not a Muslim, but I wanted to experience how Muslim brothers and sisters, including Somalis, how they experience uh, Suhar and uh, Iftal. So today's video is going to be a series of, you know, the fasting experience. So it's five in the morning. Woke up very early. My fix of uh, rice. Somali rice right there. So let's go ahead and dig in. Tomatoes, onions, of course, some carrots. Let's go ahead and get started with this suhar. Bismillah. A warm plate of white rice, semi-spiced chicken. It's ideal to eat heavy meal to sustain you throughout the day. I'm gonna finish up my morning meal. I'm gonna go back to bed and then I'll show you how I'm experiencing my fat throughout the day. Of course, I'll share the iftar as well. around and uh, I'll see you show Ramadan Kareem. Almost uh, 2 p.m. Fasting is going well. I'm a quick run. So far, I feel good. Um, I can't, I can't complain. Great experience for sure to fast. I'm looking forward to the iftar. It's a beautiful day outside. Perfect opportunity for me to run. Good uh, three miles. I feel good. Stay tuned for the iftar. excited for the food uh, but again I had a great experience of fasting during the whole day and this whole experience allowed me to really experience a sense of empathy and gratitude and it's time for me to break my fast Somali style Iftal the perfect himself uh, he started uh, by eating dates a form of breaking that fast and some water and then the rest of the food follows Rob, piece of a great way to prepare your body for you know the heavy food is Milan. It feels good. And of course it's sooner to eat um all three uh, dates because the prophet himself he ate all three dates so, so energy packed fruits they grow in the desert cup of tea This is just plain old black tea. Dates themselves, they're packed with tons and tons of sugar. So it's a great way for me to just transition. The whole fasting experience started around 6.30 in the morning. And of course, went through the whole day, reflecting on everything, righteous, iftar with some samosas. These are some Somali samosas. These are veggie samosas. So really, really looking forward for these ones. You can see it right there. So these are veggie samosa, carrots inside, corn, potatoes. It tastes really good. Soft inside, crunchy on the outside. Spring roll. Let me break it and share that experience with you. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful right there. So this is a beef spring roll. Mmm. Oh man, that's excellent. Really, really good. Cumin in there, carrots, onions, the Somali mandazi. As you can see, they're very huge. These are huge, they're massive. Now, as we're going through these whole experience of breaking the fast, I wanted to really explain the benefits of uh, fasting. Fasting uh, really helps you control your blood sugar. It's a natural way of, you know, maintaining your weight. Let's have a lot of physical, mental, spiritual advantages. Spiritual way is allows you to really abstain from all unrighteous, you know, stuff and bring you closer to God doing good deeds out there. So that's the whole point of Ramadan. So let's go ahead and try the Somali Mandazi. It tastes amazing and very spongy too. I chase it with some tea right there. First time fasting, during Ramadan. And uh, I must admit that this whole experience has been great. 
and I'm loving it and I'd love to do it even more and more. Uh, chicken sukar, so this is more of like uh, potatoes in there as well as green peas, carrots, side dish to go with the mandazi. Looks amazing. Mashallah, very good. I love it. You get the sweetness of the mandazi, savoriness from the um, the Somali chicken sukar side dish. Very tasty, well seasoned, and uh, it's just a perfect combination. Have some Somali food without some banana. Mm. Everybody knows what a crepe is. So look at that. Best dishes to have during iftar for Somalis. Cheers. I really love this malwa. It does have a very strong flavor of vanilla. Mix it with the chicken sukar as well. I'm gonna grab a handful of the chicken sukar. Cheers. Mm. Muslim brothers and sisters, Ramadan Kareem. It has been a great experience as a non-Muslim uh, trying iftar and suhar as well as fasting during the Ramadan has really, really allowed me to get closer to, um, you know, doing the good deeds to everybody, to one another. And that's the most, uh, uh, you know, a pleasant thing to do during the Ramadan season. So um, the Somali food, uh, it's an excellent during iftar because it does have a combination of many things. You have your tea, you have your power uh, packed like the mandazis and the crepes protein right there and some dates as well you get some fiber so as i mentioned before it's a great experience i would like to do it even more on my own i wish you well and hopefully i'll be able to make um, another video during uh, the eid thank you again for tuning in thank you for watching and uh, please comment and let me know what you think of today's video and what is your experience what are the things that you do during ramadan uh, from Suhar as well as, you know, during Iftal and throughout the day. Um, like myself, today I ran. I'm not sure if that's something that's permissible, but it was just more of something for me to, uh, to stay occupied and, um, you know, navigate uh, my way throughout the day. Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Eat more Somali food and uh, Ramadan Kareem. Shukran.